So guys, live from the court team. And then I'm not going to mute you, uh, Heather, because we're going to talk about gratitude this morning. And that's going to be our story of the day, because it is gratitude month. And I really, really love gratitude month. And I, I need reminders like a month <laughs> of just being grateful, because it's like somehow when, when it's not part of our TFW structure, it's like, I forget to drink water unless it's water month, or I forget to get good sleep unless it's sleep month. It's ridiculous, but I do love the gamifying aspect of it, you know? And so um, with gratitude month, it's just so lovely. I feel like to walk around the city or view your day in a, in a grateful sort of way to go, oh yeah, that's something I'm grateful for, you know? So um, I, uh, I had to go on a long walk yesterday um, to do an errand and uh, just walking through Portland, I mean, I'm from the Midwest. I love the Pacific Northwest so much and I'm, I'm just constantly, constantly in love with it every day, you know, especially when I see what grows here. The stuff that I tried to grow in Ohio, like as far as plants or, you know, like shrubbery, it, it didn't make sense there. And here it's just amazing. So I'm so grateful for Portland and, and just the, the life of foliage that it, that it creates. Heather, what are you grateful for? Uh, I'm grateful for, uh, this is going to be a little silly, but I'm grateful for the internet for providing me all my online instruction that I've been doing. Yeah. Professional development for work and for some classes just for personal growth and of course for TFW, but I just realized that like my life would be very different if I didn't have the ability to like connect and do all this learning. So guys, in case you couldn't hear Heather, Heather was talking about being grateful for the inter interwebs and uh, just how connected that makes her as far as education and as far as just like even at, like working out and stuff is concerned. Megan. What are you grateful for? So Megan's very grateful for connection with friends and ability to do that through different media medias. Yeah, that's FaceTime, the things, yeah. <laughs> FaceTime, it's funny, because Megan and I tried to FaceTime one day and we're like, we hate FaceTime. Oh, we're just gonna be on the phone. Yeah. Rob, what are you grateful for? Uh, yeah, Rob's grateful that his, his friends and family have been able to maintain their health throughout this. Man, it's like, it's like winning the bad lottery, right? You get you get the virus and it's just like, wah, you know? So that that is something really, really awesome to be grateful for. Yeah, totally. So guys, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. We're gonna start with our jumping jacks. If you're not doing jumping jacks, you can do squats or you can follow along with the hand movements. It's totally fine. All right, I'm gonna count the first five. You're gonna count the second five and go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Five, and go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, five, six. And go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, five, six. Second set, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. I go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. I go one, two, three, four, five. I go one, two, three, four, five. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start with that Cossack stretch. I love the Cossack stretch. I think this is such a nice, gentle way to warm up that groin, really pushing back on that heel. Go 10 times. 
on the right, and then you're gonna do a leg lift after you've rocked 10 times. Lifting up and down. After you've done five leg lifts on the right, we're gonna go head back into our Cossack stretch. On the other side, woo! Rob is feeling his tendons this morning. That's why I started to laugh during jumping jacks because Rob's face was all, like, just the, from the first jumping jack was like, oh, no, ow, geez. <laughs> and then we're doing our leg lift. All right, guys, next, let's go ahead into our hip circles. So keeping that right angle with that leg, going knee to elbow out to side, up and back and down. Five times. And then we're gonna take it the opposite direction. Ah, five times the other way. Then we're switching it out to the other, le other leg. Going five times that way. All right. Guys, let's go into this high kneeling position. We're gonna have our thumbs out, so we're gonna really get those arms tense as we bring our head forward to the side, to the back, and over. We're gonna do five neck circles that way. Squeezing those glutes. And then we're gonna take five circles the other way. And we're gonna take our hands, clasp, clasp them together. We're gonna to rotate. Five times forward, we'll go about five times back. All right, so while we're still in this kneeling position, I want you to reach towards me. You're gonna bring your arms forward, then you're gonna take your elbows, I'm sorry, your shoulders up to your ears. Then you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades at the back, then come down to your hips, come forward, up to your ears, squeezing the shoulder blades at the back, and then down. Five times. And then we're gonna take it the other way. So we're gonna go up to our ears, reaching forward, bringing those shoulders down to the hips, and then back. Stand it up. We're gonna grab our bands. All right. So let's go ahead and start with our over and overs, as Rob <laughs> has coined this smartly. Uh, trying to get those arms straight when we touch our thighs forward with the band. Touch your thighs at the back. For any of the warriors that are at home who are just doing remote training, if you do not have a band, go ahead and text me and I'll get you one. We're trying to come close to our heads as we pass over the top. Ah. 10, nice, all right. Next guys, let's go ahead and stand in our bands. All right, we're gonna reach down low and then we're gonna do some bent rows. So we're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades at the top as we feel this in our hamstrings. Pulling that butt to that back wall.
All right, standing up. Then we're gonna do some upright rows. So leading with those elbows. Slow and controlled, squeezing those glutes. Uh, feeling all the feels today. Oh my goodness. All right. Got a little bit of a band warm up. Next, guys, what we're gonna do is for today's workout, we're gonna have two timed events. We're going to do a set of exercises for 10 minutes. We're gonna try to get as many rounds as possible, as many sets as possible in there. And then we'll switch it out to a, a B set where we go 10 minutes again. But first, as far as our warm up is concerned, we're gonna go through each one of these exercises just to make sure that we have the right weights, to make sure that we uh, understand the technique involved. So we're gonna start with our eccentric push-up. And I love the eccentric push-up because even if you can't do a strict push-up, everybody can do an eccentric one. So for that, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come into my push-up position so my feet are together, my knees are together, my, my butt is slightly raised so that I don't lose those abs. I'm gonna slowly lower myself to the ground, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and then I'm just gonna raise myself up and then I'm gonna do it again, all right? So keeping those elbows either in tight or at a 45, don't let those elbows come out. If you can do a strict push-up, that's fine, but you still have to slowly lower yourself down. <laughs> <laughs> so 1001, 1002, 1003, and then get back up again. Yeah, so Megan, really try hard to keep that butt up the whole time. <laughs> there we go. And get those elbows in closer to your body. You got this, you got this. Get those feet together. Yeah, get your whole body really strong, then just slowly lower. And it's okay if you kind of drop it at the bottom, that's fine. All right, so we're doing five of those as far as our warm up is concerned. And then we're gonna do our rainbow reaches. We've done this movement in the past, but we've decided to change the name of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down on our bellies. You're gonna reach, you're gonna take your hands to your head, your elbows are up, then you're gonna reach forward. Then you're gonna bring your hands around and back up as high as you can, up your back. Then you're gonna take it back down, rotate your palms towards the ground, and reach forward. So I'm kind of in this cobra position the whole time, but I'm gonna keep my neck in more of a neutral position. Go ahead and give me five of those. Slow and controlled, just reaching, real dynamic reaching with those arms. This feels really good on my busted shoulder. Oh. Oh. All right. So, then we have our lunge with touchdown. So we're gonna go into a really long lunge. We're gonna bring that, that butt to that back wall. We're gonna touch our back heel and then we're gonna step up into it. So really lunging out, touch that back heel and come back up. Let's go ahead for our warm up and do five on each side. Yeah. So all that weight goes into that lead leg. That lead leg is also the leg that picks you back up again. Don't use that long leg to push you up. Use that lead, that bent leg to draw you back in. I think I have one more on each side. All right, we got that. Oh, then we have our yoga windmill. All right, so we're gonna come into this high plank. We're gonna bring our right foot next to our right hand. We're gonna reach forward. I wanna get this knee over this ankle. This back leg is really straight. If you have any problems with that back knee, you can always put it on the ground. Reaching towards me, 
And then you're going to rotate your hand out to the side wall. And then your hand and your shoulder rotates all the way to the other wall. You're going to come back in, go into the world's greatest stretch with elbow to floor, come back up, switch it to the other side, reaching, legs are super engaged, super dynamic. I'm watching my hand as my shoulder rotates, going all the way to the back wall, bringing that elbow down, coming back in, switching it out to the other side. Let's do two on each side. There we go. One more. Taking our time with this. And then, while we're on the ground, we're gonna go ahead and go into our bicycle crunches. So, I'm gonna be long with this. My legs are gonna stay long. I'm gonna go opposite elbow to opposite knee. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. As I rotate my torso, and I'm just up on those shoulder blades, all right? Go ahead and give me 10 on each side. All right. So those are all the exercises in the first set that we're gonna do, the first circuit. These are the exercises in the second circuit. So we're gonna do our kneeling overhead press. So I'm gonna come into this high kneeling position Gonna really push into the floor with those knees, really squeezing those glutes. And then I'm gonna have my palms facing out, going up overhead, bringing those elbows in at the bottom, rotating them out at the top. And what I'm trying to do is I'm not, I'm not arching my back, I'm not bringing my rib cage forward, I'm tucking my rib cage down as I reach up. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. Exhale at the top. All right. And then I have my ISO lunge with lat raises. So what I'm gonna do for that, I'm gonna come into this lunge, I'm gonna hold it at the bottom, and then I'm gonna do five lateral raises. All right? So go ahead and do that. Try to get your arms just a little bit straighter, Megan. Yeah. If you need to grab lower weight, go ahead. Actually, let's just go ahead and switch it out now and do five more. Trying to get that back knee as close to the ground as possible, about an inch off the ground. My arms are coming directly out from my shoulders. They're not at the back. They're not too far in the front. Directly out as I'm holding it in this deeper lunge. Yeah. That's a thing, that's a thing right there. And then we got our sumo rows. So for my sumo row, I'm gonna come into this really deep, wide squat. I'm gonna bring that butt to the back wall. I'm gonna push with my straight arm as I pull and squeeze that shoulder blade at the back with the other one. So it's a push, pull. Go ahead and give me five on each side. You should really feel this in the glutes. If you can get your butt down even lower, Megan. There you go, there you go. Nice. So if you haven't been able to tell yet, the second circuit is a lot more strength oriented. The first one is a lot more mobility oriented. And then we're gonna have a nice little break with our, um, Squat with hamstring bias, yeah. Inability to read my own handwriting, yay! So I'm coming into this really deep squat, I'm grabbing my toes, I'm rotating out, rotating out, lengthening those legs, bringing chin to chest, coming back down. Rotating, rotating, go ahead and give me five of those. I want you to really feel that hamstring stretch when you lengthen those legs. Aha. Uh -huh. 
All right. Oh, and then we have the best part, the lateral crawl. So for my lateral crawl, I'm in this quadruped position, and then I'm gonna come up, bring my knees up off the ground. I'm gonna take a step out. My hands come together, my feet come apart. I take a step out, my feet come together, my hands come apart, and then I'm gonna take it the other way. So I'm gonna do, this is one crawl. That's two. This is three. Four and five. So what we're really trying to do is not come into an A-frame position with this. We're trying to keep those knees low, butt down. And if you can't get the coordination of the hands and feet, that's fine. You're just taking a step to the right, and then you're taking a step to the left. Yeah, so Megan, make, just try to get so you're here. Yeah, trying to get those hands to step as well as the feet. Yep, step in, there you go. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a tongue twister, that's for sure. <laughs> all right guys, that's all of the exercises. So, we're gonna grab some water. I'm gonna set the clock for 10 minutes. You're gonna go at your own pace with the first five exercises. So those first five exercises was the eccentric push-up, making sure that you get that slow count down on the way down, and then we're gonna go into our rainbow reaches where we're on our bellies, bringing those arms around. We're gonna do five eccentric push-ups, three rainbow reaches, then we have two of those lateral uh, lunges with touchdowns. So that's one on, that's, that's, uh, one on each side, and we're gonna do two of those. Then we have our yoga windmill. We're gonna do two on each side of our yoga windmill, and then we have 10 bicycle crunches. We're just gonna keep doing that over and over. You rest as you need to. If you can do this without resting and just do it 10 minutes straight, fantastic. If you need a break, take a break, all right? But I want you to be deliberate with these movements, okay? So, I think, I missed something. Two, two, all right. Two. So guys, got the clock. We're starting with our eccentric push-ups. All right, so we're slowly lowering down, coming back up. Now, if you're struggling with those, what I want you to do is I want you to do an archer plank instead. So you're gonna widen out your feet, you're gonna rotate up, dragging that arm across your chest and back down. All right, you're gonna give me five on each side of those. All right, and then we have our rainbow reaches. So I'm on the ground, start with my hands behind my head, reaching out, bringing my arms as up as high as I can up my back, reach it back down. Palms face the ground, coming to my head. Such good shoulder mobility exercise. We're doing three of these. All right. Then I'm gonna go into my lateral lunges with touchdown. Just two on each side. Get as long as you can with that. Nice yoga windmills, Rob. If you're ahead of me, you're on your yoga windmills right now. So coming into this high plank, foot next to hand, reaching with that same hand, following that hand with the eye, and then into the world's greatest stretch. Switch it out to the other side. So we're doing two on each side. Again, if you're ahead of me, you're going into your 10 bicycle crunches. That is 10 on each side. Woo! All right. 
and 10 bicycle crunches. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then I'm starting back at the beginning with my five eccentric push-ups. All right, so I want you to get that nice slow lower down, keep that butt up. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Go ahead and give me five of those. The uh, landscaper's gone, so I'm gonna open the door up because it's getting hot and yeah, hot. Then we go into our rainbow reaches. After you're done with your eccentric push-ups, so I start, I keep forgetting to start with my hands at my head. Reaching, reaching, reaching. I'm in this slight cobra position, bringing those arms up. My legs are tense. Getting that full range of motion. Nice, Megan. Just three of these. Ha ha. Finish at the top. There we go. Then, can't remember. <laughs> Got the lateral lunge with touchdowns. Getting that butt to the back wall. Making sure all that weight comes into that lead leg. Two on each side. Then I have my yoga windmill. Reaching, get those legs in place, get those legs nice and dynamic. Rotating that shoulder, coming into that world's greatest stretch. Again, you are going at your own pace with this. You can either go faster than me or slower. I just don't want you to make it into a speed strength day because I want you to get from every single one of these exercises. I want you to really feel the mobility work that we're doing with each one of these. Reaching, reaching, reaching. All right. And then I have my bicycle crunches. Conveniently, already on the ground. 10 on each side. to take some water. I'm going to get right back into it. Oh, all right. Eccentric push-ups or archer planks. 1001, 1002, 1003. You can always do your strict push-up back up again. I just want you to make sure you get that slow lower down. Butt is slightly raised so you don't lose those abs. Oh boy, feeling that this morning, holy poop. I got my rainbow reaches. Starting here, reaching out. Good, good medicine for those shoulders, guys. Just three of these. my lateral lunge with touchdown. I should have been telling you how much time we have. We have about three minutes left. Three minutes. Long lunge, long lunge. All right, then I have my yoga windmills. Everybody loves a yoga windmill, right, Rob? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rob does these every day when he gets out of bed with his new puppy. <laughs> if you haven't seen Rob's new puppy, it's a German Shepherd and he is awesome. 
just all legs and big, huge feet. Ugh. Oh, one more, one more. Here we go. Two on each side for those yoga windmills. <laughs> Bicycle crunches. Right. Ten of those on each side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Guys, we got a buck thirty-five left. We got this, we got this. I'm gonna go back into my eccentric push-ups or my archer planks. <laughs> Woo! Take it slow, take it controlled. <sighs> yeah! Awesome. Then, got my rainbow reaches, I keep getting up. <laughs> Reaching, slow, controlled. Just three. There we go. Going into my lateral lunge with touchdown. Woo, 25 seconds left. You got this. So guys, we take rest with these time circuits just to make sure that we're not super gassed and that we're doing really, really great form with each of these exercises. So you don't need to keep going, but if you can, great, push yourself. Then we got our yoga windmills, high plank. No, we don't. No, we don't, that was it. <laughs> so we're gonna rest. All right, I'm gonna go through the exercises in the second circuit while you rest, just to make sure we remember what we're doing for the second circuit, we have our kneeling overhead press. We're doing five of those. Again, guys, slow and controlled. Really squeeze those glutes, elbows in at the bottom, out at the top, elbows in at the bottom, out at the top. So I'm not coming here. When I mean elbows in, I mean bring those elbows to the rib cage. Keep that rib cage tucked. Don't extend that chest. Keep that, that diaphragm and rib cage tucked. We're doing five of those. And then we're doing our ISO lunge with lateral raises. So I'm gonna grab my lighter weights. If you don't have light weights at home, you can do this with just your arms. You will be fine, all right? So going into that lunge, holding it. We're doing five on the right. And then we're gonna switch it out. We're gonna hold it and go five on the left. All right, um, elbows are slightly bent with that. Then we got our sumos. So I'm gonna widen out my feet, my sumo bent rows. I'm gonna push and pull. As I do this, I'm pushing with the long arm and I'm squeezing the shoulder blade at the back with the bent arm. All right, then we have our squat with hamstring bias. Again, going into that really deep squat grabbing those toes, rotating, rotating, lengthening the legs, chin to chest, and back down. I want you to really feel that in the hamstrings. And then we have our favorite, the, I'm sorry, the squat with um, hamstring bias, that's gonna be five on each side. And then we have our lateral walk, our lateral crawls. Knees are slightly raised, take a step out and in, out and in. So five on each side. All right, I'm gonna grab a little bit of water and we're gonna get after it. Yay. All right. Guys, we're starting with those kneeling overhead presses. Three, two, one, beep. Just five of these. Great job, Heather. Good elbow placement. Oh, 
Boy, I'm glad I grabbed the weights that I did. Holy poop. All right. And then I have my ISO lunge. Getting that placement of that leg, right, raising those arms, feeling it in those lats. Three, try not to rush this, because I want you to really feel that in the legs. Yeah, I know Rob does. <laughs> and other places. <laughs> Just coming about shoulder height. <sighs> yeah, nice. Then I have my sumo rows. Going into a deeper squat than you normally would. Get that butt down. Bring that shoulder blade together or squeeze it in as you push pull. And that's five on each side. What did I say with that? It's like milking an upside down cow. Is that? Yeah. And then we have our squat with hamstring bias. So deep squat, rotating, rotating, chin to chest. That's one. Rotating, rotating, chin to chest. mobility exercise. Boy, I am feeling it. Right? Where's it burn, Rob? Right, right here? Yeah. Woo. Seriously. Yeah. All right. Then I got my lateral crawls. So knees just hovering over the ground. Just take a step out and in, out and in. That's one. That's two. That's three, four, and five. So ideally, your hands are doing the opposite movement of what your legs are doing. Your hands are coming in as your, knee, as your feet are coming out, and then vice versa. All right. So guys, we got about seven minutes left. I'm going to go right back into it, into my kneeling overhead press, elbows in. So is my rib cage. Definitely take a break if you need to. Exhale at the top. Megan got her game face on, I love it. Iso lunges with lateral raises. Two, three, four, five. Woo! One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that just happened. All right. Then I have my sumo bent row. Loving these sumo bent rows. Five on each side. Just pulling that dumbbell to that rib cage, all right? And then I got my deep squat with hamstring bias. Lengthening those legs, coming back down. Again, if you haven't heard this suggestion before, for our YouTubers, if you want to make it faster or slower, you can change the speed of the video, which is a nice feature of the YouTubes. Wah! Ah! Wow! Really feeling that. Yeah, then I got my lateral crawls. This is uh, 
the time in the workout where I start to curse Coach Josh <laughs> for the workouts that he comes up with. <laughs> Five on each side. So only good form, guys. Rest if you need to. I'm gonna grab some water. Woo! All right. Go ahead and start again. Got about four minutes left, starting with those kneeling overhead presses. Five, yeah. Then I have my ISO lateral lunge with lat raises. Two. Try to get as low as you can. Four. Five. Switching it out. Nice, Rob. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right. Then I have my sumo rows. Four. Five. Ugh. E gets. All right. I'm gonna shake out my legs for a second before I go into those deep squat with hamstring bias. Woo. Taking my time, getting that deep, deep squat, deeper than normal. Oops. Ugh. Woo, rolling it up. All right. Then got those lateral crawls. Did I get? I got my ISO lunges. Yeah. Okay. Got my lateral crawls now. Seeing if I'm forgetting something. Two, three, four, uh, five. Yeah, yeah. Hiya. Ha 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 ha. What do I got? I got a minute and a half left. All right. I really like these time circuits because you can go at your own pace. Three, four, and five. Nice. Then, got those ISO lateral raises. I think I have to look at the board each time because I wishfully think I'm going to miss something. <laughs> Two, three, four. Five. It's easy to cheat with that one. It's easy to keep that knee pretty high up. Try to get that knee low. Two, three, four, five. Woo! Yeah. Going into my sumo bent row. Got about 30 seconds left. Two, three. Bring that butt down, four, five, woo, yeah. Shake out my legs. Deep squat with hamstring bias. As soon as that alarm goes off, we are done with wherever you are. All right, that was it. Awesome, all right guys. We're gonna do some tendon work. 
Yay, this is what Rob wanted. Rob was like, I feel alive today because I feel my tendons. I feel all the tendons. Take that tendon, right. All right. So, we're going to grab our bands. And, oh my God, the music is so dramatic right now. It's like, what's going to happen? All right, we're going to grab our bands. We're going to step into it. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to do 60 RDLs. All right, yeah. So we're doing high, high volume, getting a bunch of blood into those tendons. It's really going to help strengthen them, going to help, help us resist injury. So for my RDLs, I'm coming down low, grabbing that band low, really bringing that butt to that back wall, just bending my knees enough so I feel it in my hamstrings. Coming up, bringing those hips forward at the top. So 60 of those. Three, four, take your time. Five. If you really pull that butt to that back wall, you're not gonna feel this in your lower back. What number are you on, Rob? Okay, I instantly lost count. If you notice that your form is not great, you can go ahead and take a break. Maybe just do three sets of 20 instead of one set of 60. But if you can, try to get as many reps as possible, all right? If you can try to shoot for 60, that's great. Rob, where are you at? Okay, cool. for me so guys we're gonna try to do another set of these another set of 60 we're gonna take a little bit of a bit of a break the other thing I should have mentioned is that we do not want to neglect our lats with this just like when we're doing a deadlift we want to make sure that we turn on those lats all right except this time for all 60 those lats are on all right your shoulders aren't coming up into your ears at the top Shoulders are staying down, pretending like you have towels in your armpits that you're trying not to drop. Arms stay straight. Elbows do not bend throughout this whole exercise. I'm gonna grab some water. How those feel, Megan? Yeah? You feel, you feel another set of 60? Okay, cool. All right, let's take a few more seconds of rest. We might just do one more set of 60 and not two more because I want to make sure that we get through our homework. All right, when you are ready, go ahead and get into position. Remember those lats. Remember bringing that butt to that back wall and getting after it. Really exhale at the top. Good job, guys.
got those hips at the top. Woo! All right, I got about 20 left. Hopefully your brain went to a special place <laughs> where you just thought about happiness and butterflies and rainbows and fields full of unicorns and not the torturous pain that your body is feeling at this moment. So we are going to get ready for our homework. So I'm going to set up the timer like a Tabata because we're just doing 20 seconds of each of these exercises, all right? So we're gonna do 20 seconds of knee grabs, 20 seconds of push-ups, and then, oh yeah, 20 seconds of mountain climbers. So let's go ahead and do our knee grabs first. All right. Just 20 seconds of knee grabs, making sure that we start laying down, throwing those arms forward, legs come up, and we're going in three, Two, one, go. I definitely need this knee grab practice. After I did my knee grab test. Uh, getting those feet flat at the top. Uh, uh, nice. We're transitioning to our push-ups or our archer planks. All right. I'm going to do the archer plank. We're going to do 20 seconds of that. Or you're doing a strict push-up, or if you're at home, and you can go from an elevated surface and do your push-ups, so that's fine. Getting that full range of motion with those arms. All right, then we're going right into our mountain climbers. I'm gonna do cross body mountain climbers. You can do straight mountain climbers. Just make sure you get those knee to the elbows and we're going now. The cross body mountain climber works a little bit better on my hips. It's a little bit more about mobility as opposed to the just pure metabolic of the regular ones. Guys, that was it. Oh my God, we did all the things. We have a couple minutes left, but that's okay, because we are not doing 60 more <laughs> of those RDLs, all right? So, guys, I think you saw my uh, text from yesterday that we canceled the 4th of July party. Um, there was just a lot of concerns about how many COVID cases came up after Memorial Day. Just don't feel responsible with bringing you guys out into the public. It's one thing to be in here, and we're controlling this as much as possible. But um, yeah, to be out in public, we're just gonna try to reduce the risk. So Josh and I are gonna have a day off tomorrow. We won't have a live Zoom. Um, bye, Emily. We are going to, uh, you can, if you wanna do a Saturday workout, great. Go back into the YouTubes and, and find a Saturday that we've done. We have a ton of Saturdays in there, you know. Um, or go out and hike or get on a walk, get outside, you know. It'll be awesome. But guys, I hope you're safe and healthy. We're here to help you bring out the warrior within. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. All right. <laughs>